Western Australia has won the Senior Perpetual Trophy in the NRL Affiliated States Championship at Cooper Stadium over the June long weekend. Let's see what happened with a fresh 92-7 SRL weekly recap. On day one, Western Australia defeated South Australia 66-0. SA started the game strong with all the attacking play in the opening minutes. However, they were unable to get on the scoreboard. Once WA broke through SA's defence, they scored three tries in 10 minutes, displaying quick ball movement from all players. Despite coming within inches of their try line, SA were unable to score, leaving the half-time score at 22-0 WA's way. In the second half, WA picked up where they left off, with scoring highlights coming from Jordan Jacobs, who showed blistering speed in runs along the wing, resulting in two tries for himself. Best on ground was awarded to WA Sampson Graham, who scored two tries and was influential in other opportunities. SA's standout players were Michael Lowry, who continued to push forward, while Captain Dave Robinson showed leadership in setting up the SA defence. All right, we've got uh, Michael Lowry here after SA's first senior game in the Affiliated States against WA. How do you think the team went today? Oh, yeah, look, lots of work on, as we can see by the scoreline there. But, you know, the boys dug in. You know, it's a different level when we come out here these these times of the year, so you know, I think they gave 100%, but yeah, obviously show we have lots of work on tomorrow. And uh, yeah, you've got Northern Territory next, so what are you going to focus on for that game? I think we've just got to focus on simple stuff, complete our sets, get the ball down the other end and really just turn up, make proper tackles, I guess. Thank you very much. Also on Friday, Victoria defeated Northern Territory 26-10. to on day two of the championships, Northern Territory defeated SA 60 to nil in a one-sided affair on Saturday afternoon. Early tries by NT centre Joseph Forrester saw the score open up to a 10-point lead. SA looked threatening as they spent 10 minutes holding the NT attacks and assaulting their own try line. However, as a few errors crept in, NT set up multiple scores for the rest of the match, which included an 80-metre dash by NT halfback Rodney Barbara. In the second half, SA had one last push for a try when Locke Tom Royal completed a 20 metre sprint that set SA up to score. Unfortunately, an offside call turned the ball over and NT continued their forward dominance. It's hard when we're going out there and scoreline being what it is, but you know, boys push through with the best preparation as we possibly could. Uh, it's hard to expect much more from them. Do you feel the boys played better in the second half or the first half? I mean, I think we got a bit, uh, a bit more of our footing on the second half. Um, it's real hard, second day in, second game. Uh, I mean, they did, they did well all through, but I mean, it's tough times out there. <laughs> yeah. Who else do you think performed quite well on the team? Oh, I mean, yesterday and today, uh, I mean, you can't go past uh, Benny Golding. Um, yeah, he just pushes through, he plays almost full 70 minutes. He just does everything right. Also on day two, WA won its second game of the championships, defeating Victoria 18-6. On the final day of the championships, Victoria defeated SA 66-0. The score did not reflect the hard work of the SA side, who put up a strong defence to keep Vic scoreless for the first 10 minutes of the game. Good attacking play by Vic saw multiple scores, leaving the half-time score at 34-0. SA showed good defensive play in the second half, with Dave Robinson stopping Brandon Mansay from scoring after a 50 metre sprint. Best on ground was Vic Terry Constantino, who scored three tries. SA's standout player was SA's captain Dave Robinson, who played a good defensive game. All right, we're here with Warren Moore from South Australia after their third game in the NRL Affiliated States game. You had a lot of defensive work today again. Uh, you pushed close to the line a few times. How do you think the game went? Um, oh, we expected a really physical game from these guys. I mean, everybody's played the whole weekend, so this is always a tough one for our boys. Um, we, the score doesn't reflect how well we, we thought we went, but, you know, what do you say about 66-0? Yeah, at least we're all still standing, eh? And uh, how have you uh, improved as a team over the last few days? Um, oh, we didn't get a whole game together. All we got was training sessions, so uh, halves and combinations started to gel a little bit. Uh, we just were so tired when we got to the line from all the defence that uh, boys got impatient and uh, yeah, that's just the, the way it goes, I think. And what can you take away from playing uh, some of these stronger teams? Oh man, uh, I, I hope that the boys uh, concentrate a bit more on their fitness. I think skills-wise we're kinder with them, we're just not as well drilled and definitely not as fit. Uh, so hopefully fitness will... Thank you very much. Thanks,
The last game of the tournament and the championship decider saw WA defeat NT 40 to 10. For all information on the under 18s and women's results from the affiliated states championships, along with fixtures for round eight of the Sports Centre Cup, tune into this month's Fresh 92.7 SRL panel or visit the SRL website on www.sarugbyleague.com.au. I'm Emma Open, you've been watching the Fresh 92.7 SRL Weekly Recap.